everyone, my name is Julie. Thank you so much for watching and today we're doing our advent calendar. I'm excited. I hope you're excited. This is where I open up three different products every two weeks, test them out, come back and tell you if I'm going to keep them or to clutter them. And two of my calendars are commercial calendars. I've got the Douglas one and I've got the Essence Beauty one. So let's go through what I opened two weeks ago because it was an interesting week. Um, and I will say week because I really only use these for a week. <laughs> The first one is this from the Essence calendar. This is the Miss Spotlight. This is a beautiful silver shimmer. My big problem with this one is that it chipped like that, like within a day and a half. Um, and I, I actually don't have another polish like this. Like this is your pure silver um, glitter shimmer nail polish, fully opaque in two coats. It's actually really beautiful in that first 24 hours. Um, I just hated the fact that it chipped so easily. And I'm going to declutter this one. And that's hard for me to say because I actually I kind of like this. <laughs> but I look at my other nail polishes and go, okay, it's fine to let this one go. It's just not the quality of which I prefer. The other one was the Douglas Essentials Tonifying Mask with Green Clay. I still don't exactly know what tonifying means. But I will say my face actually felt better after using this, and I don't exactly know why. Um, it came out, it, it was literally a green clay. That's what it looks like, it's literally green. And um, like a light green, like a mint green ice cream. <laughs> you put it on and it, it dries a little bit like a clay does, it acts very similar to a normal clay mask. And I washed off my face, felt, I don't know, rejuvenated? I was really tired when I tried that one on, and I think rejuvenated is a good word for it. Um, I left on 10 minutes, rinsed it off, and my face felt like smoother, it felt more moisturized, but I didn't really know like what part of that was tonifying. <laughs> but I actually, I didn't mind that mask, I'll reuse it. Um, I only, again, used it one time, and my face reacted positively towards it, so that's a good sign that I'm going to keep that one. The last one was probably the most exciting product. This is product from my own collection that I haven't used yet, and this is the Laura Geller Blush and Brighten Pink Grapefruit. I loved this blush. Loved it. It's not what I have on today because I'm trying to, of course, hit pan on other blushes. So I kind of put this to a side after I used it three times and I was just like, this is all I want to use. These are really nice. The shimmer in this blush um, is a really nice balance of wearable versus like I'm going raving. Because um, I like, what I've learned is I like shimmer in my blushes. I don't think I would have said that last year. But this year I'm like, oh yeah, totally. This is like right up my alley. And I'm 100% gonna keep this blush. I am so sad Laura Geller is not being sold in Ulta anymore because that was such a great place to do it. And this color is really nice. Grapefruit is a good way of putting it because it's a little bit brighter. It's um, of a shade, but it's totally wearable for every day as long as you don't mind a little glitter on your cheeks, which I don't. And actually I shouldn't say glitter. I will say shimmer because it's like a subtle silver reflect shimmer. It's not like big chunks of glitter, so I apologize if that got kind of confusing there. But let's go on to what I'm going to open and test for the next two weeks, because this is like, I'm kind of excited about this one. So for the first time ever, I think in like three or four months, I actually, on the first time random.org gave me a number that I haven't already gotten, and that number was 22. So I want to know what's in this package first, because it looks like another blush, to be honest with you. Um, but I'm excited to see what is in this one. So this, this packaging was like intriguing to me. I want to I, I wanna know where the people are. Yes, okay. It is another blush. I could tell immediately when I opened it what it was. This is the Alme blush with stars on it. This is the Smart Shade Powder Blush in 20 Nude. Um, for all these products, I haven't used it yet. So I'm excited to see what this one looks like. There are four tones of blush in here. Um, you've got light, I don't know, kind of like a medium rose, deeper rose, and almost like a terracotta. Um, I'm excited to try this. I probably will swirl them, to be completely honest with you, <laughs> and see what the shade is. Oh, that's actually not bad. Okay, it's a little bit pinkier than uh, what I'm using right now, but that might be really interesting. That might be a good winter blush, actually, for me. So this is a good time to pull this out and try it. So yay, two blushes in a row. I, I like blushes. <laughs> They're like totally okay for me to use. Like over and over and over different ones. All right, let's go to the Essence calendar. Really cute box still. Ooh, it has lips on it. I haven't noticed that before. It's interesting. I think the other ones were a snowflake. 
Is this a makeup bag? Cosmetic bag, yep. Okay. It's like, look how it's rolled up. Interesting. I mean, I will say Essence has like a, definitely a mix of different things in their advent calendar. What does this say? Happy thoughts inside. It looks very similar to an Ipsy bag. Um, in construction too, like it's like that plastic, but it's a little bit holographic. I can see the full rainbow in there. It's cute. I actually have kind of destroyed a lot of my Ipsy bags lately because I don't get Ipsy anymore and it's been like two... When did I move here to Germany? Two and a half years ago? Um, that's what it looks like. It's just a really simple Ipsy bag. <laughs> Ipsy bag. It's an Essence Cosmetics bag with the tag there. I mean, it's fine. I'm not like super excited about this, although I do think it's pretty and I like the happy thoughts inside. So I'll put this to use, I just don't know with doing what yet, but I'll keep it. <laughs> there, one designed it. <laughs> um, okay, let's go to the Douglas calendar and let's see if we can find 22. I do, I must admit, doing this still makes it feel a little bit like Christmas, even though I know like Christmas is coming around again. It's really just fun to try new products and see what you think of them. Got a little guy right here. Just a, just a little guy. I wonder if this is going to be another one of those, like, little tubey things. Oh, no, okay. This is the Douglas Naturals Re-Energizing Comfort Mask for Stressed Skin. And 95% of the ingredients are natural origin. This is what it looks like. It's just a little sample size. And I'm going to be excited to try this one. Um, I don't mind little sample sizes like this with masks. I figure, and kind of realize after the first mask, if you don't see a difference, you'll probably never see a difference. So I can't say what I'm going to think about these products yet, but in two weeks I'll come back and tell you, hopefully this will be an empty, <laughs> and I'll give this a good go to see how this looks on my skin tone, on my face, all that jazz, see if it's good for the holiday season. Um, I will say this is a matte blush, so I might add a little shimmer on top, just because that's the mood I'm in. Um, so yeah, there we go. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.